Hello, kindergartners. Happy Friday. This is our solving chair for lesson four dash three. So today we are going to practice comparing groups um, to 10 and we're going to practice by counting different groups. Um, so here's our solving chair. The class aquarium has two kinds of fish, goldfish and tetras. Write numbers to tell how many of each kind. Draw a circle around the fish that has a number greater than the other. Show how you know you are right. So let's go ahead and count our fish. That's our first step. I like to mark my fish as I count, and I know I've talked about that a lot, especially in class, that when I'm counting big groups of objects and they're not lined up, and they're in a bunch like this, I like to put little dots or X's or checks on them so that I know I've counted them. You get your workbook out and your pencil out too, and you count with me. If you want to mark them while you count, great. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you get seven? I got seven. So we'll write seven by the goldfish. All right, now let's count our bluefish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I got nine. Did you get nine? Good. <coughs> Excuse me. So now compare your numbers. Which number is greater? Which group of fish? has more. Yeah, the blue fish, because nine is greater than seven. If we think about when we count, we say seven before we say nine. To tell our brains that seven is less than nine and nine is greater than seven. So nine fish is more than seven fish. Good work on your solvent chair today. Bye.